Hi everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscolour.co.uk and thank you for joining me for another Celebration Saturday. Now, if you are new to Stamping Up and you don't know what Celebration is, well, it's a wonderful promotion that Stamping Up run every year between the beginning of January and the end of March. And during that time, any time you buy £45 worth of product in one transaction, um, you get to choose something from the Celebration catalogue for free. Uh, and you can't buy any of the goods that are in the Celebration catalogue. You have to earn them. So today I'm going to be playing with um, these stamps, which are called Designer Tea. And they're on page 19 of the catalogue. And I have them here. I'm going to show you. Now, um, I normally buy the clear mount stamps. I normally get those because, one, they're a bit less costly. And two, they uh, take up less space. But uh, for celebration, uh, because it's free, I thought, well, I may as well have the uh, the wood mount version. So I have them here, and I, I haven't actually mounted them yet. I haven't actually done anything with them. So I'm going to open them up to show you how they arrive with them. Okay, so if you've never seen um, this before, this is what you get. So you get all your wooden blocks, and you get your rubber stamps, uh, which are uh, mounted onto an adhesive sheet at the back, and they're all kind of uh, kiss cut out for you. There are little, um, you know, little pips, I suppose you could call them, where they're still mounted onto the the backing, and uh, you get your um, index sheets. Okay, so that you can tell which way up you've put them, or if you're like me, sometimes you put them on the wrong way up because that totally happened okay <laughs> right so i've decided that the stamps that i'm going to want to use today are this one have it eat it do it all and this one that says happy birthday so i'm going to find a suitably sized block now i think this is the one that i'm going to need for for that one i can't see i think that's the the longest one that i that they have here let me just let me just check the no actually I think I think I need to keep that one for for that stamp and I think this one this size of block will work perfectly for the stamp I want so here it is have it eat it do it all or is it I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to pop it out and I'm going to compare it with yeah and that one is just slightly longer which is the uh, i think i can one so i'm going to keep that block for that stamp and i'm going to use this block for this stamp okay so all i have to do is take off this bit of brown uh, protective paper here and i'm just going to line that up onto my block and press that down and now that is adhered to the block. And I hope I've got it straight. Because that is staying that way. All right. And now I'm going to take the corresponding index and peel that off. And making sure that I've got that the right way up. I'm going to stick that down. And now my stamp is ready for use. So I'm going to do the same thing with happy birthday here. So again, I want one of these, and I think these are all the same size. Yes, they are. So I'm going to find happy birthday in my sheet. Pop it out, and they come out quite easily. Remove the backer, which doesn't want to come off, because that adhesive is very sticky. I'm just going to pop that down as straight as I can onto my my wood block turn it over making sure I keep it the right way up and index my block okay. so these are the only stamps that I'm going to be wanting to use today but I will go back and I will mount up all the rest of them so I shall put those out and I shall put these on one side 
All right. The other supplies that I'm going to be using to make my card today, uh, I'm going to be working on one of the Whisper White note cards. Now these come in a pack of 20 with envelopes included, so they are really good value for money. I'm going to be using Versamark ink and clear embossing powder, and I'm going to be using the watercolour pencils. Now one of the advantages of using a wood mounted stamp is that your stamp is always ready to go. It's already mounted up on the block, you haven't got to go and find a clear block to uh, adhere your stamp to. But that means that you can't actually see directly where you're stamping. Uh, so I'm going to use the stamp majig to position my stamp today. So I'm going to start with um, the uh, stamping sheet, the index sheet. And here's the stamp magic handle, and I'm going to make sure that that is tucked right up into the corner there. And I've got this can be any colour ink. I just happen to have picked up Knight of Navy as being one that I can see quite clearly. Now I'm going to hold down my uh, stamp magic positioner, and I'm going to bring this in so that it's tucked right into that corner there, and I'm just going to stamp. Okay, so now I have an impression of where that stamp uh, has gone into the corner. That's not making good sense at all, never mind. We'll cut that bit out. And I'm going to do the same in this corner with the happy birthday. I'm going to put down some bands of colour where I want my stamp to go on the front of my card. So I'm going to start with some yellow and I'm holding the pencil quite flat to the paper. Now I'm ready to stamp, so I'm going to bring back my uh, stamp majig and my positioner sheet and I'm going to put the positioner sheet with the, uh, with the stamped image pretty much where I want it to be on my card and I think it, that's about there. So I've brought in the stamp majig handle and I'm just going to take the positioning sheet away. Now I've got my stamp and Versamark ink. Ooh, before I do any of that, rewind, redo from start. Now I've got my, so I've got my colours laid down and now I'm going to do some stamping. So first step is my embossing buddy because I'm going to be doing some heat embossing on this card okay and I've got the positioner sheet with the stamped image already in place and I'm just going to put that where I want it to all wind up when I'm finished I'm going to bring in the stamp magic handle and the corner of the positioning sheet is pushed right into this angle here on the stamp jig, so I can take that away. I've got Versamark ink and the stamp, so I'm going to hook that up well, bring that in, whoops, now that moved, okay, so I'm just going to redo that again. 
because that handle moved and it would not have been where I wanted it to be. So we're already inked up, make sure that stays in the same place and press down. Okay. And now you should be able to see, I think you can, that that has stamped onto my card. I bring in my clear embossing powder. I've decanted this into into a bigger pot so that it makes it a little bit easier to work with and I'm just checking that all parts of that image have got powder on them and they have so now Now that's all had time to cool down so I'm going to bring back the pencils again and I'm going to keep my pencil quite flat to the paper again and I'm just going to very lightly scribble just across the top of that heat embossing just to make the words pop out a little bit. Okay. real red on this bit at the bottom here. So just keeping it flat. And just like you used to do this when you were in school. So I want to do one more bit of stamping on here and that's the uh, the happy birthday. So let's put that where I want it to go, which is around about there. And let's bring back the stamp positioner. Now this time um, I'm going to use the Knight of Navy. So my stamp's inked up. There's my finished card all on one layer, nice and quick and simple and uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this project and if so then don't forget to like, to share and to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think uh, or pop over to my Facebook page even better and show me a picture of what you've been up to because I really really would like to see it. But that is it for today and I thank you very very much for joining me and I hope that you will come back and see me again soon. Bye bye!